this one. This is known as the three moment equation. Okay. So uh, we solve already the into and that is one three nine one. And this is my my moment diagram. No. So uh, this is a prob a problem where in the answer is moment. No. And then from there you do the shear diagram or basically determine the shear. Okay. So this this problem is practically one. Ah, uh, unahon ni mong solve ang moment, okay? Ang imong gigamit is three moment equation man. So, ah, uh, okay lang mahimo. Moment kidang una mo ni mong makuha. Then, after that, you solve back or back analyze to get the shear. To get the shear, no? So, like that. So, yan na. Okay? So, only the moment here, no? The, the rest, ah, uh, you do not know, no? Uh, you know only moment at one, two, and three. So, the rest, you do not know. Because it depends on the shape of your of the shear diagram. Okay, so to determine the shear diagram, so we will copy this. Okay, control screen. I will post it here. I have new paste. Okay. So take note that this is the. This is the diagram actually. This is the, the per diagram of the first object now. So in one in one here. Okay. In one here. Uh, I will I will insert. Text box. I will see in one is zero. In one is zero. And okay, that's what I told you Ganina. We predetermined this already. No to minimize. And then M2 M2 Oh, yeah. So into is uh, 1391.98 1391.98 So uh, the sign is negative based on this design condition given Okay, negative So uh, with this one, you can solve part two. Like for example, I will sum up. I will sum up moment at two equal to zero. Okay. So, and next I am going to sum up moment at one. Ah, uh, kusa ning equal na e e one. Then ako ni change e equal. Okay. So next I will do summation of moment at one. Or uh, whichever, whichever is first, no? Okay, based on this, based on this, uh, example, this is my, 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 my pivot point at point two. So I will have, basically, if this is the uh, counter, uh, counter clockwise, having negative, that means in real sense it is clockwise. So if I will see uh, my one here is positive counterclockwise. If I my second condition is positive counterclockwise, so this will become minus one three nine eight nine one and one point nine eight. It becomes minus because uh, it is a clockwise. This negative one three nine. One nine point nine eight, and uh, the the initial assumption is counterclockwise gives you negative. That means it's a clockwise. And then my sign convention here that I use is positive counterclockwise, so that gives one three nine one point nine eight. That's Newton meter. Next is uh the moment done by by the, by the load. The total the, the total load is one thousand four hundred times four, but this is a triangle, so that is divided by two. So you will have uh. Uh, four divided by two. The the divided by two there explains the triangular loop times one thousand four hundred. 
So that's the total load. And the moment arm is 4 divided by 3. Meaning, the, the resultant is not acting in the middle but somewhere here. No? It acts exactly at 4 divided by 3. Now, why this is positive? Because if this is your pivot point, it rotates in a counterclockwise manner. Then another minus is you have R1 with a moment arm of 4, 4 R1, and that is equal to 0. Okay, so you have that. So basically, you can solve for R1. And R1 is equal to, uh, let me solve, no? We have 1, 400 times 4 divided by 3, minus 1, 3, 9, 1, 3, 9, 8, divided by 4. Oh, 585. And 338 newton. Okay. So I have solved R1. So uh, that's R1. Okay, R1. So you have here uh, 585. 585.338 newton. That's the shear there, no? Okay. Next is uh, there is no force in between 1 and 2, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll determine R2. No? We sum up moment at 1. Okay, this is uh, clockwise. This is a clockwise, so I will have uh, 4 divided by 2 times 1,400. That's positive. Uh, no, that's negative because, because it's uh, clockwise. Times uh, moment arm with respect from point one that's eight divided by three, or that's basically two third of four. No, two third of four is eight times three. Then another minus is the one three nine one, the one one three nine one point ninety eight, because it is a it is a clockwise force. Then you have a uh, plus four r. 2 is equal to 0. So you can solve for R2 here. R2. So R2. R2. Uh, what do you think R2 is? R2 is equal to mm -hmm, you have 4, you know, 2 times 400 times 8 divided by 3 plus 1, 3, 9, 1, 3, 9, 8 divided by 4. Yeah, 2 to 1 man, 2 to 1, 4, point six six two. okay, so that means uh, the total, the total weight here is, uh, so this one is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, so five eight five point three three eight minus two thousand eight hundred. That's the total weight of the triangular load. So it has a negative here. Oh, negative. Let me change negative two two one four one four point six six two newton. So you have a point six six two newton, which is exactly the same. So it goes back to zero. Okay, so now we will we will solve also the other other reaction here. Uh, I can I can do it. No, uh, I will cut this. Okay, so for the other force. I will sing it here. Okay. This one. This one is still equal to negative. Home. Copy. Let's get negative. Yeah. Home. Copy. Paste. I'll bring that here. So this is negative. Meaning, uh, it is other, the direction is otherwise. 
So while here, I'll copy that, move, copy, paste, bring it here, change the subscript, is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, from this, I can uh, sum up moment at three equal to zero. Uh, sum up moment, okay. Let me say sum up moment at three equal to zero. Okay, so and then I will do, do that by summing up moment at two equal to zero. I will do it. I will do at three first. I will do at three. So this one, uh, using the same convention, positive counterclockwise. So you have one three nine one point ninety eight that becomes positive. I mean, if if the if the direction here is counterclockwise and the result is negative. That means in real sense that's a counter a counterclockwise. So, but counterclockwise is positive. Then plus you have nine hundred times three. Uh, with respect to point three, nine hundred times three is rotating in a counterclockwise. That's why it's giving a sign of positive. Plus another positive is the the moment done by the eight hundred. Eight hundred times two with a moment arm of one. Then you have minus uh, 4 R, R2. Basically, this is B2. Just B2. Huh? Uh, but you can still use R2 no? because that's, that's R2. That's the, lab, the labeling here. We use R2. But basically, this is the shear R2. Okay, R2. So from there, you can solve R2. What do you think R2 is? So you will have one three nine one two nine eight plus nine hundred times three plus uh, eight hundred times two divided by four. You will have one four two two point nine nine five newton. Okay, doing that at at solution moment at two. So what will happen? I still have one three nine one in the same direction, clockwise, and then the rest are negative, like the nine hundred with a moment arm of one minus what's that? Eight hundred times two, eight hundred times two. Now the moment arm, the moment arm here is three. Okay, and then you have plus uh, four r three is equal to zero. Okay, so this is r three. Now, R3 can be sold. Copy. Yes, R3 can be sold. We will have uh, 800 times 6 plus 900 minus 1391.8 divided by 4. This is 1077. Okay, so this is 1422.995. So here, this is 14, 1422.995. Newton. Then there is a minus here. Minus, I think the load is 900. So 1422. 1422.995 minus 900, you'll have 522.995. Okay? Newton. And then there is a minus of 800 times 2. So 522.995 minus 1600. It is now becoming negative. Negative. One zero six seven point two two five newton, and then that's the the shear here. But R three also R three is one zero seven ten zero seven point zero zero five, so it go back to zero. 
Basically, you can compute the maximum maximum moment here. Huh? Only this one. Only that one. I don't compute. No? Yeah. So the moment is uh, 1422.995 times 1 plus 522.995. So that's the positive moment here. Okay, at this point. Then uh, you have a small triangle. We have a small triangle here, so that's 19455. That's uh, 1945.99. Now, the distance here is uh, 522.995 divided by 800. This distance is 0.635, no? Kiling gamay nga distance from there. So that means that the small triangle here, this small triangle is uh, times 522.995 divided by 2. The area of that is 170.952. Plus, katong ganiya ang area na 1945.99. So you have 2116.942. Minus 1391. Minus 1391.290. That means nga ang moment na din is Seven two four point nine six two. Yeah. At this point, wala well, lang siya maklaro no pero uh, suppose it that is a zero mo a zero moment no a zero shear. So kini nga shear diagram is misrepresented no. Uh, okay man so buwan siya in buwan siya. Okay, that's only 500, and then this one also. Okay. Like that, no? Now, the maximum moment is really occur here. So, initial, wala ka initial na, 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 moment. Maximum moment. Na, dia, na, dia maximum. Put, one, uh, coinciding the zero shear also here. Ang maximum shear, ano nga, dia, dia. After you solve the moments, but the moment equation, you back analyze for the shear. Okay, back analyzing is taking its of the pre body diagram to solve for the reactions or the shears. So that's what I I, I done here. I solve the reactions. So basically, that is just our result then, uh, for this afternoon. And then uh, the first one that I told you that we We'll have a quiz this coming Monday. Okay? Uh, 12 o'clock to 1.30. It, uh, uh, it is approximately 15 question, uh, multiple choice problem. The problem involves little calculation about uh, finding deflection, solving moment, and of course the one, the method of consistent deformation. Okay, so I will see it and then uh, uh, I will uh, exit. Okay, so that's all for this afternoon class. No? So, di bali, di continue lang to na ako akong calculation ganyan para ma-rational ma, 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 ma ang 
Itong marginalized na ko ang uh, share diagram, no? Yeah, they are not just uh, approximation, but bukitutangan yun ako o itawag niya magnitudes, no? So, the magnitudes can be determined by by back analyzing the the three body diagram wherein the book there is already known moments. Okay? At first, when there is no known moment, you cannot solve it because that is indeterminate structure. So once there is already a moment, and the moment is solved by a uh, three-moment equation, you can go back now to your three-body diagram without uh, 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 assurance that you solve the minus here using the power of the equilibrium. Okay? So simply apply solution of moments, solution of force, equal to zero. So that's all class. So, uh, I have to dismiss you, okay? Thank you for coming.